It was a gloriously warm day, and news of Rhubarb's garden party drifted on the balmy summer breeze. Whispers were that Rhubarb's marigold jelly cakes were on the menu, while rumours spread that Custard had ordered chocolate-coated eels. <laughs> Whose name would be on the official pecking order? A personal invite to this scrumptious soiree. And who would wait for crumbs if crumbs were to be had? The party was on, the weather unseasonably hot. It was so crowded under the old conquer tree, to say the least. Cool, said Moggy, and as she picked up the old teapot, its candle snapped off. Real cool, eh? said Rhubarb in a being cool kind of way. Handle snapping off like that? Don't worry, it was just an old crackpot. Like me, <laughs> he sniffed, and the birds laughed pitifully at Rhubarb's old crackpot joke. Oh, Bob, darling, you're so droll, said Poodle Princess dramatically and picked up a plate which snapped in half. Oh, alas, poor platter, she dramatised, and Rhubarb acted as if it didn't matter. As Custard raised a cheery mug to Poodle Princess's acting, up went a cheer from the crowd and down went the mug with a crash. Oh, I, I, I see we're having a really smashing t -t -t time here, chirped Mouse, and everyone groaned. Smashing time! That is so funny, tittered Rhubarb and picked up his broken tea things. Half a cup, anyone? He exploded and could hardly stand up. Cracking jokes at my expense, he shook. Well, I'm shattered, he spluttered. Shattered! <laughs> I think Rhubarb's finally cracked up, said Moggy Malone. Well, the garden party is certainly broken up, sighed Poodle Princess. Uh, right, uh, tea at four o'clock on the lawn, squeaked Mouse as loud as he could. What about caps? wailed Custard. Pottery, said Mouse. We'll make a new tea set. A tea set? But we don't know anything about pottery, Rhubarb said. The computer does, chirped Mouse. We'll look it up. And with that, Rhubarb, Custard and Mouse made a beeline for the shed. Mouse startled the computer from the deep sea. Custard gave it a shake and Rhubarb looked up P for pottery. Next, he was on his bone foe. Hello? Mo, ah, can you help? We need clay, heaps, so's to say, as soon as you can. And we'll need a pa pa potter's wheel, squeaked Mouse. I'll think of something, said Rhubarb in a thinking kind of way, and stepped out of the shed and fell over the bird bath. Perfect, he beamed, a perfect potter's wheel. We're going to make a new tea set, announced Rhubarb. Afternoon tea under the old conquer tree at four. <laughs> Complete new tea set, said Mo. You'll have you jogging for hours, running that potter's wheel. Mouse shook his head. Uh, no problem. Engine, rubber band. Engine does the work. Computer control. Mm, 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 nothing to go wrong, he explained. There's clever, said Mo. And Rubo asked if there was a bit too much clay for a tea set. No, said Mo. You'll need all of that, mark my words, he said. Shrinkage and whirling, see? Well, if you think so, Mo. Turn her on, shouted Rhubarb. Turn her on, echoed Custard. Turn her on it is, squeaked Mouse from the shed, and the new tea set was on its way. Slowly at first, the mountain of clay began to turn on the bird table. It's working! It's working! shouted Rhubarb in a pleased as a potter kind of way, and the garden animals stood around as the clay mountain wobbled and turned and picked up speed. Oh, isn't it just the most wonderful potter, darling? gushed Poodle Princess in a one artist to another kind of way. Wonderfully potty, shrugged Moggy. As the clay gathered pace, Rhubarb, Master Potter, held his paws up to the wet mass and soft, wet, earthy dollops flew from the turning block. Moggy copped a splash first, then Princess caught one. Rookie got a splodge too. The birds didn't lose out either as the giant wobbly teacup reached a menacing speed. 
I think it's a bit big, shouted Rhubarb above the clatter of the wheel and dug his paws deeper into the squishy clay. As he did, the stuff flew wide and far, and there was plenty of it. Ahoy there, Custard! One lump or two! <laughs> shouted Rhubarb, as Custard was covered in enough clay to mistake him for a large ornamental china cat. Everyone was covered in clay, just where they stood. And when Rhubarb noticed what looked like Mouse standing by the shed, he begged for him to turn off the wheel. Can't! squeaked Mouse. St stuck! And the pottery wheel whirled and clanked around the clock. As the sun came peeping up over the old concrete, the diesel engine finally sputtered and gasped to a stop. And Rhubarb was able to take his worn down fingers away from what now looked like a miniature egg cup. When he looked up, a concrete gnome army, the grenadier gardeners, seized at him. Their heavy clay overcoats set solid. It was dead quiet. Uh, I can't put the kettle on, said Rhubarb nervously. Whiz, the home of ABCs, 1, 2, 3s, and all your favourite kids' TV characters. Now let's find kids' TV. Or I can press this microphone. Whiz, that's how easy it is. <laughs>